welcome to rant of a niger chick welcome to another album review this time around i am reviewing timeless by davido see i am a huge davido fan music aside i like the man personally so the the fact that the music is good is usually an added plus now we were all anticipating the video coming back to the music scene coming back to giving us content back to back as we know how he does this album was definitely one of the most anticipated album of the year in nigeria and africa i would say so yes even though we're still in april it was that big because we all wanted him to come back so now i'm going to talk about the music i'm going to focus based on what i got from it a little bit on the lyrics and the feel the cohesiveness of the album what i think maybe a little bit about the space i think he was in while he was writing a particular song and stuff like that now these are my personal opinions they are not facts they are not you know they are just my personal opinions take it with a grain of salt also let me know if you've listened to the album what you got from it how you felt about it what you feel about the songs in general let's get right into it as usual i have my notes i do not want to over talk even though i know I'll end up over talking but let's just get into it the very first song is over them i remember the morning the album dropped this is one of, of course i like listening to my album stop to bottom the first listen and then go in again and then select my faves so when i start listening to an album i'll pick what i call my fast faves over them the very first time it started was one of my first films honestly i can remember what i was doing i was getting my makeup done because i had to shoot chat circle that day and i remember getting chills i still get chills i think not really about the song itself it was more about the lyrics for me because he kept saying things like if they want turn goliath i'd be david for life and we know where he's coming from i'm not going to speak about that but we know where he's coming from so for him to say and that line was repeated 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 for him to say that with such conviction it felt very huge to me and I feel like Over Them was also the perfect song to open up Timeless. I mean, he's done a good time, a better time. I'm thinking Timeless kind of rounds it up for that um, trilogy. It was such a big song, a good song, you know, a feel good song, a perfect song to lead that album. The next song on the album is Feel and it also started very well. Honestly, to me, what makes me have my first fast fave songs in an album is when the song starts well. It starts, you know, it starts big. I don't have to think about it too much. Am I going to like it? Am I not going to like it? Feel, I loved immediately. Feel makes me feel, <laughs> sorry, pun unintended, but feel makes me feel like I can dance, which I cannot do, but I really like feel. I think I want a video for feel as well. The third track is in the garden featuring his new signee Morave. Sorry, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We all not have a problem with pronunciations here. I've decided I'm not going to work on it, so take it. <laughs> all right, so first of all, I love her voice. This song to me was a grower. I, I didn't like it immediately. I, I think I liked it about the second listen, but I really love her tone. And that pre-chorus and that chorus is so dope. Like it's giving breezy vibes. I love the fact that she led the song. Like I love the fact that, you know how you're featuring somebody and the owner of the song starts. So I love the fact that she led this song. It's really giving me breezy vibes. I really like the song. Now, Godfather, which is the fourth track on the album, is still a question mark for me. Yes, I love the video and all that, but I'm not expected to love everything he does. And Godfather, I'm still not gotten into the groove of Godfather as at the time that I am making this video, which is, I cannot remember the date, but this um, album dropped on the 31st. And this is about, I think, today's 10th of April. I don't know, but you get what I mean. So Godfather is still a question mark to me. I don't have much I'm going to say about that. The fifth track is Unavailable. Come on, we all know Unavailable by now, and if you do not know, you are a hater. Now, this song, even if you don't like it, because of all the promo that is going on around it, you are going to like this song. Aside from the fact that there is a um, TikTok dance, he, he came up with a TikTok dance, I feel like Unavailable is, I would call Unavailable his main, his lead um, title track. I think this is the song he made for, I think I saw an interview, I think my cousin told me about an interview, and he talked about the fact that he wanted to check out something with this album. But this song, Unavailable is the song I feel he made for commercial purposes. This is the one we are going to market you know this is the one we're going to put out there i feel that 
this is that song and i also feel he has already done the video as at the time i'm filming this the video has not dropped but i think he has already done the video and i think he's i hope he's going to be big and continue giving me the vibes that this song gives me and then the song has so many potentials we've already seen so many videos that people are making i'm unavailable you know you do point of view i'm unavailable so like i said this is the song he set up for commercial success so i really really like that i mean we've all seen with this age where music blows up on tiktok and all that you know sometimes you kind of have to pander to the industry and make that kind of track um, unavailable for me is that kind of trap but what i like about the fact that even though it's obviously made for commercial success it's also a good song so you know i hate it when people make obviously make songs for commercial success and then the song is not good so i'm like they're trying to force people because it's not me to dance and the song is not even making sense but unavailable is actually good so i don't have a problem with that track six is bob and it's supposed to be a bob but to be very honest it's still a question mark for me it's almost too repetitive for me so i'm not really sure but it is a good song but it's not just for me as of now track seven it pained me i love it the song is catchy it's an easy song it's easy to hear it's easy sweet in the ears it, like I don't want to talk much about it pain me but just know that i love it it's a no skip song for sure track eight away i need a dance i need a video i need a documentary i need a behind the scenes i need everything for away away is that song away is that song it is such a vibe again it's easy to the ears you don't have to stress about you know liking the song also away makes me feel like i can dance and I know that I cannot, but a way makes you, it gets you in the mood, you know, to dance. And not just dance, you know that dance that you dance and you twist your face to kind of, you know, like have that ugly dance face. That's the kind of song it weighs. It's that good. Like I actually want to be in Ibiza, be Ibiza, whatever, however they call it, listening to the song and probably on it. Like it, it, a way makes me feel doing like doing things that I know that I've not done, but I want to do them in my head. Like a way is a way is a vibe. Honestly, a way is a vibe. This is a certified bob. Now this is a certified bob. Track nine is Precision, and Precision was my very early, like my first, one of the, the first time. Um, favorites that i have it starts very well and like its name it's precise there's not much to it i don't know how to explain it. there's not much to it but it's pre like it gives you what i need it precision immediately i heard precision i was like yeah that's the song i like that one track 10 is kante now kante mm, i think kante is my absolute favorite from the whole entire album kante is the song that will not leave my head Kante is so good. This song features Faith. I cannot remember. I think, she, yeah, she's a Nigerian artist. I'm sorry I did not do my research, but honestly, that girl's voice, that girl's voice, her tone on Kante. Give her her flowers, give her her bouquet, give her the flower basket, give her everything. I really love, again, I love the fact that she led, and as opposed to the video, I really love the fact that she led. Now, Kante also makes me to want to wind my waist. I don't know how to explain it more than that. Like, you know, the because I'm not a dancer, but I know that this is the feeling it gives me. I love the way David came in in the song as well after she was done with the verse and the chorus. I love the way. I did also catch the uh, Big West Fine Fest reference to Risky, which I really loved. I mean, as a fan, I was like, okay, I love you. Know, I love that that side. I love. It was almost in, in fact, it was the same tone. So I loved that. I want a video. I want a video to Kante, but I also don't want a video to Kante. Let me explain why. Because Kante, I already have a video for Kante in my mind. I want us to all have our videos. I don't want, if Kante video comes out, it's not the video. Like, there's a feeling that Kante gives me that I do not want a video to dilute it. At the same time, if a video is done and it's very well, again, my book fell, but it will be very, very good. Track 11 is Namoni featuring the caveman and Angelic Kido. Now, I know that everybody loves this song, and sorry, do not crucify me, but I understand if people love Namoni, and it is a good song, but I am not on that train just yet with you people. Namoni is a good song, but uh, it doesn't move me the way a way, the way can't even precision. Like, it doesn't you know, move me, even over them, moves me more than, um, you know, uh, Namoni. I think it's because I'm not quite familiar with the sound. But my cousin said something about Namoni when it came out. She said that Namoni is the kind of song that you should listen. You know all those, not bush, um, village bars that you sit and you drink palm wine and there's plenty of flies, you know? My cousin said that Namoni is that kind of song. And I was like, even when I didn't really vibe with the song then, I was like, oh my God, you're right. So Namoni is that, 
you know old men that like live band music na money of course it's cavemen so na money will give you that vibe so it's a very good song i'm ju it's just not my song track 12 is you in bracket juju featuring skepta and this is not the song for me honestly i have tried to love this song i tried to smile when skepta says you know the goosey line but i have tried and i have not so i do not have much to say about you juju for now Track 13 is No Competition featuring Ashake. Now, I am not an Ashake fan. That is not to say that he's not doing well. I just do not follow him. I mean, I like some songs here and there, but I saw the craze everybody had for Ashake. I do not have that yet. I don't think I'll ever have that, but that's neither here nor there. So now the song featuring Ashake, I expected a very big song. I don't know how to explain it, but I expected, I mean, he's big. He's all, he's all, it is the rave, it's the moment right now. So I expected a big song. And No Competition so far does not give me that feeling that i was expecting i hope to god there is no video because i i almost feel like the video will also be made i'm sorry to say but it's not really giving for me however no competition is still a no skip song do not make no mistake about it it's just again not my vibe track 14 is picasso and i'm not sure how i feel about him yes i do give my songs a he or she a way is a girl a way is definitely a girl but picasso is a him i'm not sure how i feel about him i love the salty soul reference the way it flows the song flows very well like mm, i think i like the song it's just again doesn't move me like over them feel awake and they, you know stuff like that but i still like the song i do love that back and forth he does with them um, the person he features i think logos or lori i love that back and forth they do but rhyming slime with design mm, i'm not quite sure how i felt about that one let's move on to track 15 which is for the road for the road is actually a song for the road like for, for the road makes me want to enter a car and drive to know yeah, where the road is no traffic not lagos road now there's no traffic you'll drive that's the kind of vibe that for the road gives me i'm not overly excited about for the road it's a good song and yeah did i really pay attention to the lyrics not really quite I don't know for me for the road i think if i'm remembering correctly the lyrics and the vibe it gives me does not match so maybe taking me a little time for what i feel about it to match up with the lyrics so maybe that's where the disconnect is but it's a good song again it's a no skip song make no mistakes about it now for track 16 which is what i would call the official closer because as far as i'm concerned number 17 which is um, champion sound was just to add you know how you add singles that was released before the album so in my head um lcnd is the last song that's legends can never die i love this song this song was the perfect ending for this album you know how i said that over them started the album well legends can never die close the album well now i don't know the people who expected the video to talk about what he went through you know with his son in his music he didn't need to but in my mind the songs like over them and legends can never die spoke about everything that he has gone through i mean even before that everything the whole thing legends can never die is the perfect closer for timeless it is big it is huge it is given it is chills inducing i really love it and the chorus of legends can never die that is why he's 001 honestly that is why he's over i do not care if you do not like him but the fact remains that he's 001 and that chorus is why he's 001 the lyrics in this song are strong and for some reason i love the fact that he also he didn't have a feature on a song like this so it's strong it's just him he's standing alone i could go on and on about what i feel about this but yeah legends can never die perfect definitely one of my faves yeah in terms of lyricism definitely one of my faves the final song number 17 like i said you know champion sound featuring focalese we already know we already loved it so i feel that was just him adding that then um, pre-release single to you know kind of give us a familiar somebody to vibe to while we get to know the new brothers and sisters so yeah that has been my review of davido's timeless let me know if you're a davido fan have you listened to timeless do you care for it do you not care for it honestly you're allowed not to like a song from a singer so far as you dislike it disrespectfully i ain't gonna have a problem with you about that so definitely let me know in the comments what you feel about the songs and let me know what your favorites are and yes i will see you next time i think i want to review more albums because i know that sugar's album d-day is coming and i'm definitely going to be talking a whole lot about sugar on this channel so get ready for me because it is my time to shine april is sugar's one and we're going to talk about it but yeah that's it for me today make sure that you're subscribed to this channel make sure you like make sure you share make sure you comment check me out on facebook at brands of a niger chick as well i am on instagram with the same name and i will see you next time bye